Welcome to part four of lesson 19. Go ahead and open yourself a new Java file for this. And I'm going to start a new array called B. And so we're going to declare B and we're going to initialize it to 14, 2, 109, negative 23, 5, and 199. Then I'm going to put in that for loop that prints everything right in order. So if you run this loop, and it prints each time. It goes 14, 2, 109, negative 23, 5, and 199. You know what? That is not going to help Mrs. McMullen when she needs to figure out who the valedictorian is by having to sort through everyone visually. So what we need to do is develop a way to sort for her. In order to sort, we need to import java.util. So go right underneath where we initialize our array and do arrays dot sort and in parentheses p. So now what's going to happen is we declare our array. It's sorted right here and then it should print in ascending order and it does. So we have a negative 23 all the way up to 199. Very, very handy tool. Now say we wanted to find value in an array and you want to know where it is. So say we want to figure out where 109 is in this array. Because it's already sorted, it's going to return 4 because if we go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it has been sorted so it's in index 4 here. If we had taken off sort, it would print 2 because it's 0, 1, Two. So I'm going to leave my array on. This is an extremely useful tool. So say we had given it 108. Whenever Java can't find something, it results with a negative number. So it usually is going to send you back something negative. Please go on to the next video.